Hello everyone, my name is Cliff and welcome back to my channel. This is Cliff's Dark Gems. And if you're new here, welcome for the first time. Hope you had the blast. Um, today, I'm going to do a little bit of a tour of my local bookshop. And I'm going to do the book haul and the books that I bought from that shop. Stay tuned. Okay everyone, to start off we've got a really small little bookshop, uh, we live in kind of coast of South Africa in a very off the beaten path kind of place, uh, so um, I'm quite excited to show you this and just give you a little bit of a tour, it's going to be a very short video but I hope you enjoy it. Hello everyone and welcome to my bookshop tour, in our humble little bookshop, it looks very pretty from the outside. Um, in a remote part of South Africa and let's just step inside and see what it looks like yeah it's pretty stacked all over the place lots and lots of books lots of shelves high uh, plenty of rows and we're going to go through those just now um, and then above you're going to see above the cashier there's some very old school kind of memorabilia and posters and all sorts of things this is scattered throughout the shop which gives, gives it a special charm really beautiful. Um, so now we're going to walk down as you go into the shop you turn left and there's all the new stuff on the right hand side. Um, we're going to go down to the first um, shelves and they're stacked high, six, seven shelves high and it's all A to Z. You can see A there and both sides. So you're going back and forth, back and forth and it's all fiction. And it's quite a long way so we're just jumping through a little bit. And yeah, at the end, you have non-fiction sections as well. Uh, but now we're looking from the top, down. Unfortunately, there was a whole section that I missed out on. I should have turned left, like about there. And there's classics there, and there's westerns, and there's paranormal, and there's vampires, and all sorts of wonderful things. And there's some coffee table books, and this is my favourite section of all, right at the end. And it's science fiction, fantasy, and horror. And now you've got a lot of really excellent uh, older stuff kind of more uh, <laughs> the sort of thing you'll find in my hall um, and yeah there's some beautiful books and it's mainly science fiction and fantasy to be honest um, not as much horror but I also shop in the A to Z where I found a lot of dark gems uh, but this is where I do most of my shopping with the vintage stuff at the bottom uh, and yeah sorry the camera's jerking all over the place I get excited in this particular shop um, but yeah a lot of a lot of fantasy at the top there um, now we're gonna move down just now be patient and yeah I'm still there I'm still stuck there <laughs> okay then you got some recipe books lots of recipe books and we're gonna be moving into a new section just now um, once I've decided I've had enough of this particular section yeah, we're moving into a section now with children's and YA and middle grade. And it's a big section. Um, you can see some more Pepsi signs on the top there, Coca-Cola. And on the right you're going to see some toys that we buy for Layla that are pretty much indestructible uh, just now. So that's the YA section, children's section, humor section. And uh, yeah, they're the toys. Uh, we like to get them very cheap and Layla does not break them. Now there's a brand new section, sweets, comics, shells, there's refreshments. Unfortunately they don't have graphic novels, or the kind of graphic novels that I'm looking for, like horror. Oh, in fact they don't have any at all, mainly comics. Um, but still, oh there's some more comedy there. Yeah, beautiful shop, lots of nice little things to buy besides books. And at the end you're going to find some shells, and that's where I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this tour um, and then we're going to go into the book hall. So yeah, everything is really reasonably priced, some very nice cheap things as well. I love this place, this is where I shop, uh, yeah, I spend my time. So take care everyone and thank you, hope you enjoyed yourselves. Cheers. 
Okay everyone, so let's see what I've got from that particular shop. And let's start off with some monsters. Okay, this is Monsters by A.E. Van Vogt. And Monsters Past, Present and Future. And uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what it's about. They dwell in the dark, unknown of the future, or the bottomless abyss of the deepest ocean. Creatures bent on horror and destruction. Deformed, evil, hating man, hunting for his blood. They are the monsters. Yeah, so it sounds like a little bit of corny fun, but I love the cover as well. Okay, everyone, next up we've got Ray Bradbury, Bradbury, Timeless Stories for Today and Tomorrow. Now, this cover is a little bit kind of misleading. Because uh, you would think that this would be Ray Bradbury's stories, but no, he edited this book and he gave uh, maybe one story in there and he gave an introduction uh, to the stories. And actually, I think he chose them as well, but they come from John Steinbeck, Steinbeck, sorry, Roald Dahl, Shirley Jackson, uh, it's Frank, Franz Kafka. And look for other ones. Oh, and of course Ray Bradbury. Yeah. So, and I love the cover as well. I mean, come on, that is gorgeous. It's like kind of a clock thing, uh, but that's pretty beautiful. So yeah, looking forward to dipping into this pretty soon. And next up we have Graham Masterson, Masterton, uh, the Heirloom. I love this cover. Uh, this is one that I haven't got yet. Uh, in fact, I did do a Graham Masterton video. If you missed it. I'm going to put it at the end of this video, uh, my Graham Masterton collection. Uh, he's an awesome British writer, and yeah, this is the heirloom. Um, and from what I read at the back, it's about this guy who finds his chair. Uh, it's not just any chair, I'll just tell you. A, th a, a mahogany chair, thickly carved in a cascade of intertwined human bodies. Seems a genuine stroke of luck. Then weird things started happening to Rick and his family. Yeah, so it's not just any chair, it's a chair from hell. And uh, yeah, the heirloom. And knowing Graham Austin, uh, it's not just awesome horror, it's going to be a lot of body, body horror as well, and some very grotesque things happening with this chair. Okay, next up I found two classics. Uh, now, as a lot of people know, that watching, watching his channel, I'm doing a top 100 books of all time, a kind of project of mine, um, and there's two classics I've mentioned so far um, from 100 to 60 that I'd love to give a reread to. The number one, number one is John Steinbeck of Mice and Men, They Go the Birds Gang. Um, this is quite an amazing story, powerful story, very short read. And if you haven't read it, it's about two men in it's 1930s America. With the dust bowl, everyone struggling, and it's these two men, and it's this giant guy, and he's very powerful, uh, more than he knows, and it's a little guy, it's the brain of the duo, and it's a story about friendship and love, um, and of course they get themselves into trouble, and it's just got such an ending. Uh, so do yourselves a favor, John Steinbeck of Mice and Men. Okay everyone, in case you're hearing like shouts coming from the corner there, there's some kind of funny party going on the road, people are screaming, and it's kind of irritating the hell out of me. But that's okay, we're just going to carry on as we usually do. Uh, so the ne next classic story is Rudyard Kipling, The Jungle Book. And I mentioned this in my top 100. And it's not just the story of Mowgli and Shere Khan and... Blue, I think the bear's name is, but it's a whole lot of different stories as well. Um, and he's a wonderful author, Rudyard Kipling, beautiful writing, and yes, yeah, if you haven't checked him out yet, go and check him out. That is a jungle book. Next book, before I talk about the next book, I love Neil Gaiman. I adore Neil Gaiman. I've got a quite a decent collection of his books. I've read it, most of his books. Um, and if I see something in the shop, I'm going to buy it. And so I saw this, and it's a YA 
uh, it's actually might be one of his kids book kids books but I bought it um, and that is Odd and the Frost Giants by Neil Gaiman um, and yeah so I was very happy to get my hands on this I'm trying to get my hands on um, everything he's written and it's kind of difficult because I know that he did the Sandman series which is a graphic novel series and graphic novels uh, despite the comics you see in that store these particular kind, kinds horror graphic novels are almost impossible to find in South Africa um, so yeah maybe one day I will but yeah that is Odd in the Frost Giants and it's a kind of uh, Asgardian tale and I'm looking forward to it Okay, next up, an author that I have read before, and that is S.P. Somtau, and I read Moondance, which is actually a, a vamp not a vampire, a werewolf tale, um, that I really enjoyed when I was younger, and I need to give it a reread sometime, because I think I only gave it three stars, I think it deserves more than that, and so when I was in the shop looking around, I found... The Pavilion of Frozen Women by the same author. Now, this is a collection of his short stories. Uh, Dean Kuhn says he can drive the chill bone deep. And look, you really got to love the cover. It's like that one frost woman thing with those eyes. It is very, very cool. Um, and let's just see what the stories are about. Amongst the ten tales gathered together, you'll discover a modern day Frankenstein in the sleazy sex suburbs of Bangkok and a hard-boiled detective exposing corruption in the entertainment industry as well as a trilogy of tales exploring theology and zombies. Yeah, didn't know the two mixed very well but yeah, so I'm looking forward to this um, The Pavilion of Frozen Women. Okay, the next book looks really obscure and I bought it for two reasons. One, that it was dirt cheap, really short, very vintage. And that is Doomsday Wing. Uh, yeah, Wing. By George H. Smith. Never heard of him. And I love the cover as well. Um, and the fact that it's a post-apocalyptic novel. So it's obviously an end of the world thing. Okay, look, the cover art is kind of weird. Um, I don't know if you want to call that amateurish or... I don't know, I'm a little bit taken aback, but yeah, it just looked really interesting. So that is Doomsday Wing. Okay, another obscure science fiction, vintage science fiction book. And this is Amazing Science Fiction Stories. Um, and this is the 49th year publication. I bought it for two reasons. I love the cover. And also one of the stories is by George R. R. Martin. And it's called Night of the Vampires. So yeah, and it was dirt cheap, it was like, I think half a pound, yeah, maybe the equivalent of half a pound, so yeah, that would be really interesting. Oh, and I love the back of the cover, you can just show how old it is, and this is an advert for the, a university, just randomly put at the back of a cover, so there you go, it's 1950s, 1960s for you. Okay, next up I've got a novel by this particular author, um, I haven't read him yet. And I found this collection of short stories called The Nightmare Chronicles uh, by Douglas Clegg. And I always say the best way to get to know an author um, is to read his short stories. If he has short stories, someone like Stephen King, the best way to get into his writing is to read short stories and novellas. So I haven't really picked up this guy's novel yet, but I'm going to give The Nightmare Chronicles a try first. Okay, the next cover is uh, weird, to put it lightly, and that is Moorcock Sojourn. Just take a look at this cover, um, the details of the cover. Now, I heard Moorcock is some, somewhat of a name in science fiction, I don't know, and I think these books, these stories are about sword and, what's it, sword and sorcery, and it's ties to Tarzan as well. Um, so I don't, I don't really know much more about this particular book. But it looks interesting for the cover alone. Oh, and we've got a picture of the author as well in the front. That so is Sojan by Workock. Now we're going into some bigger books, uh, some better recognized books, or just some better quality books. 
And one of my favourite booktubers is Michael Wurtenberg, and his favourite author is Adam Neville. Um, he's actually done an interview with the author, he's a three series interview, and I found this book, The Ritual by Adam Neville. So Michael, I'm going to finally read Adam Neville. Um, and yeah, Beggars Can't Be Choosers, it's the only one I found. But it's about apparently these four university students and they go off into the woods. They need a break from their lives. And they run into a lot more than that bargain for. Um, yeah, this looks like an excellent horror. And I'm looking forward to it. So that is The Ritual from Adam Neville. A favourite author of mine, um, and I'm busy collecting all his works, is Ray Bradbury. Um, and here we have From the Dust Returned. Look at that cover. Now, I love this guy. Uh, and I love his short stories. I've got some of his books are in my top 20 favorite of all time. And this looks really, really interesting. I mean, I've heard a, a couple of people on Goodreads talk about this as almost like a expect a kind of like Adam's Family thing. But that doesn't do it justice, uh, if I know Ray Bradbury, and I know his writing. Uh, it is about this house and it's about this family. And it is a collection of lots of short stories, but all tied in with this family and this house and this. <laughs> I think this is going to be the absolute perfect book to read during Halloween. Uh, let me know if you read it, because, yeah, it looks stunning. Finally, a book that I own already. But I hate those, uh, what do you call it, movie covers? You know those covers where they put uh, now, <laughs> now a live movie, whatever? And let's let the right one in. Um, and I found its original cover, so we're going to go with this. Let the right one in by John Linquist. Uh, this I actually owned when I was in Johannesburg, and I lost it in transit. So nothing better than to find something again. And believe me, this is just an incredible vampire novel, if you don't know already. Um, and these are not, this is not a Twilight kind of book. This is nasty, it's dark, it's grimy, it's bloody, it's everything I like in a vampire novel. Uh, so yeah, that is let the right one in. Okay everyone, so yeah, that's my book haul for today, and my little tour of my bookshop. It's like a small little bookshop isn't it? And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you've read any of those books or you know more about those science fiction authors, because I know nothing, uh, just let me know. Drop me a comment in the spaces down dark below. And yeah, take care of yourselves. Until next time, keep those pages turning and cheers.